notes for phoenixgenesis.com and our two YouTube channels, Phoenix Genesis and Frag Camp. And I'm going to show you uh, a couple videos on how I'm going to resupply on my Pacific Crest Trail 2017 through hike. So the first thing you want to do is buy food that you know you want to eat on the trail. And also go to Walmart and get or wherever and get these plastic tubs. I think they're just like $5 a piece. And you want to have at least six or seven of these uh tubs and I'll explain why when we get done with this but the first thing you want to do too is before you go out and buy a whole bunch of food and you can see how much different types of variety of food you want to make sure maybe just buy one or two of each or three or four max and eat them over a couple of days and see if you have any allergic reactions do they constipate you do they make you super um, dehydrated and you got to drink a lot of water which is going to be terrible in the desert so you want to test everything out that's step one and you also want to shop around and get the uh, best price because you're going to be buying a lot of this stuff in bulk so um i'm gonna do a whole separate video on different things i have for the dog because of course i'm gonna bring my service dog jake so that's also going to um be a lot uh and he's being so behaved right now look at him he's sitting here and he's just a good boy so we're gonna go over his food later but um and let's start over with the um, chips. So you're going to want something with a little um, salt, something lightweight. Uh, and, of course, uh, I'm going to show you the things that I like that are light. Um, the good old standard Lay's Lyman potato chips. I used to work at Frito-Lay. And um, anyway, uh, uh, I do eat them once in a while, not too often. Of course, they make you fat. But on a through hike, it's something you're going to want. And, um, you know, I try to eat as many of the organic ones as well. But, honestly, those are a great staple. So I have these Cape Cod uh, tortilla uh, sh uh, chips in there, uh, non-GMO um, and gluten-free. I try to stay away from gluten. It just really makes me super tired. Um, then we have these kale and spinach tortilla chips that are um, low sodium. So maybe if you have other methods of um, the uh, intake on your sodium eating, you don't need... Um, you have something with sodium. Then these uh, pop edamine chips, sea salt, and they're gluten free as well. And I absolutely always have to have um, my roasted seaweed. So I've got this seaweed right here, and then I've got the uh, nori. And these say there's no MSG and no preservatives. These are the nori seasoned seaweeds. Those are great. Um, you definitely want some freeze dried fruit. Um, I like this better than the trail mix. Um, you know fruit that comes in your um gorp ah, that's just nasty um this is 100 percent fruit no sugar added no additives and they have four flavors at the 99 cent store i hated the peach and i hated the um uh, strawberry banana the strawberries were too sour the bananas were great if they were by themselves so i just got the apple and the pear ones and um Oh my God, I love these things for fiber. Coo berries, they don't have a lot of calories, unfortunately, but um, fiber and just kind of something to keep in your mouth. They're certified organic. The first time my boyfriend bought these things, I was like, oh my God, it tastes like cardboard. It's not food. And then they just grow on you when you're hiking. So um, they come in little pieces or they come um, whole. I recommend getting them whole. I find that the pieces just kind of, um, they're not evenly... Uh, dispersed and you're going to not be able to measure them out and they also end up falling on the ground so you waste them so that's that with that then i have um def different types of teas and i love stash tea that's my favorite and it took me forever to find these different flavors but i have some rock and mint uh pomegranate raspberry chai spice orange spice premium green which is a good antioxidant and some um some fusion uh organic green and black tea um, right there, that's the organic one, some uh, green chai tea and some spice dragon red chai. And it depends whether you want caffeine or non-caffeine. So maybe you want a tea to warm you up at night so you don't get hypothermia after a long day hike or then you want the caffeine like the chai spice in the morning so um you know it's good to have a couple and just like throw them in there and honestly when you're filtering water you want to put different things in there um after the filtration pot process is complete because you don't want any of the chemicals of any anything including your vitamin c or emergency packets interfere with your um, chemical process of purification of your water but afterwards you're going to want something to get that nasty purification taste and the horrible water you might have to drink in the desert out of your mouth so um i love the teas uh going over here um you know we've got flax seeds these are great they got protein um again they help you go to the bathroom um some abound on um, coconut granola a little organic um black chia seeds love chia seeds 
Oh my God, they're great. You can put them in your water and put emergency in there and you're good to go. Um, organic milled flax and chia. Um, those are great. And goji berries. These were very expensive. They were $10. Um, we got these at the, and they're certified organic. We got these at the uh, LA Marathon Expo. And I wish I could have bought more, but that's all I could afford. But um, those are a must have too. Coconut oil. Oh my God, coconut oil is fantastic for um, giving you the calories, nice healthy um, fats, uh, just keep you going. And then um, if you want to season your food, I like chili powder, I like uh, black pepper, lemon pepper. Um, the ground turmeric, I cannot say enough, that is critical. The turmeric to help clean out your brain from eating any crap you will eat while you're hiking and um it really helped me the two things that help me with altitude are the turmeric cucurum and the coenzyme q10 also see, called for short co q10 and i took those and i gave them to my dog ray when he was having altitude problems in the sierra cleared everything up and you can go online research it again don't put anything in your body just because i'm telling you i'm eating it i know how these things affect me you need to make sure that um you're not you don't have an allergic reaction i mean you could have an allergic reaction to goji berries or um, a snickers bar so you need to test all this food out don't just take it because i'm saying take it test things out these are just my recommendations of what i'm taking anyway um go back uh, i like some parsley flakes once in a while and, and definitely cinnamon i put cinnamon on everything then um for protein we've got your good old um almonds you've got some walnuts which are great for the brain um, I cannot tell you enough, the ginger, natural ginger candies, um, they come, you take it out of this package, they're individually wrapped, oh my god, and the Sierras, they really kept me going last year. Um, I've never tried these before, these Gerber yogurt melts, but they're really, uh, they're freeze-dried yogurt snacks, yogurt's good to clean out all the junk in your stomach, so, um, keeps the, uh, healthy bacteria in there. Then, um, for the desert part, too, you want these, um, mission bite uh bite-sized mission figs that'll help you to go to the bathroom believe me uh you can get very constipated uh hiking through the desert not eating enough water um don't eat pop tarts we did that last year man i was constipated for like four days oh it was horrible so um yes no i'm mean, you notice i have no cliff bars and no pop tarts in here uh and no candy other than uh snickers and some dark chocolate for later on but i'll get to that so anyway for seeds you got good old sunflower seeds pumpkin seeds and these pepitas are pretty good Good. and again walnut halves um, dried banana chips I cannot tell you enough you need to keep your potassium level up the more water you're gonna drink you're gonna lose sodium but a lot of food has sodium but you really need the potassium so just kind of every time you have your little mini sips of water plop a little piece of banana chip in your mouth to keep your potassium going then um for bars I am taking these bite-sized uh, Lara bars not too many of them though and we've got uh, chocolate macaroon, and we also have uh, cherry chocolate chips. So uh, my boyfriend and I ate them. They taste pretty good. Um, pokey sticks, I love, but I normally don't eat these things, um, you know, because they are processed food. But I am going to bring a couple pokey sticks on my trip. So I like the strawberry, the cookies and cream, and the um, green tea ones. Um, these are a different brand. I never had them. I don't really like them that much, but I will take them. Oh, my God. So my friend... Um, Josh last year uh, lost 40 pounds, so yay, and he hiked from um, the southern terminus to Tehachapi. Um, amazing, amazing, carrying a huge pack with all kinds of medical supplies because he's going to be a nurse. And he said sesame seed crackers kept him going. And I went to this Chinese market and I got these. They have um, peanuts, sesame, plum, and sweet potato. Oh my God, they're light, so they're kind of just a quick snack to pop in. I popped in two of those and we went and hiked for... Uh, like two hours up at Griffith Park, I had tons of energy. And um, oh, also I like these chili lemon botanas. Um, they will make you thirsty, but I'm only bringing a couple packs just once in a while to get in and resupply them. I love my Parmesan cheese because I'll put that in my tunas and in um, my cores, wherever my core went, um, where's my cores? There they are. There's my, uh, I got a bunch of different flavors of these rice and pastas. They're a dollar at Walmart and a dollar at the 99 cent store. They're cheaper than um, backpacking food, like the Mountain House stuff. That stuff is really expensive, and I just don't like the way it tastes, so that's just my preference. And with tunas, I got also different flavors, and I can do a separate video breaking more of the food down. I just want to give you a general overview. We have some seaweed soup. Can't have enough seaweed. Um, some Lipton noodle soup, and of course your staple chicken and beef ramens. Uh, these dried anchovies are fantastic. I think um, 
Scott Williamson said he munches on these um, tons of protein. I can share them with the dog. And these little dried Norwegian fishes were very expensive. I think they were like, yeah, 16 something, 16.95. 16 whatever that says but anyway they were expensive i got those at uh there's for dogs but i'm sorry i'm gonna eat them too uh they're good they got omegas uh wild caught 100 natural and grain free of course um then um these cheese and peanut butter crackers i tried to mix it up different two different brands everything was kind of on sale some peanut and some cheese and cheesy toasty cheesy peanuts and uh those things are light and they keep me going and they don't make me sick so uh what else do we have here? We did the chips. We did the, oh, the baby foods. So um, if I forgot, uh, the baby foods, um, you can do your banana this way. They come in berry. Again, I can break them all down. They've got a super food. Um, you know, you've got all kinds of great stuff in here. Some yogurt ones. And for the desert, these things are fantastic because not only when you're done with them, they give you food and they give you easily digestible food and they give you hydration and they're organic but when you're done with them and you get to say lake morena you can fill these up and make them little mini hydration bladders that can um you can hold in your hand while you're hiking or easily accessible in a pocket of your shorts or in a pouch and you can kind of sip on these things so they can be reused the whole time you're hiking um and then again for water, the vitamin C's I, instead of getting, I have some of the emergencies that I got free at the um, Marathon Expo, but I really, um, I went with the CVS ones just because they were on sale, so they were way cheaper, and um, they're all 1,000 milligrams, so um, it's pretty much the same thing, and they came in orange, raspberry, and tangerine, and then um, a couple cappuccinos, um, some Nesquik, those are good. Uh, oh, one box. The Girl Scouts and the Only for Cookies. So I have one box. Um, maybe I'll have those at Kennedy Meadows or some special place, you know, as a celebration for getting to a certain point. Sardines. Um, you put these in the resupply and you just eat them right away as soon as you open up your resupply. Great, great, great. Or, you know, they're, I mean, they're not that heavy, but at the end, um, I really want those in Washington. Um, the, 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 um, Nors also, um, the chicken, beef, and tomato bullions, uh, salt, soups, um, those things are great. The chocolate bars, I'm only going to take four. I have four for each resupply in Washington because I'm going to really need the fat and calories at that point. I don't really like to eat chocolate that much. And the mini Snickers, I can, um, those actually are the only chocolate bars I really can eat and I will um, throw those again when I need more calories later in the trip. I'll uh, do those. I have a couple goldfish and animal crackers I just got. At the marathon um i have some of the almond butter packets i don't really like those that much because they tend to leak at least they leaked last year on me but i'm going to use them up um tic tacs oh those are great for your throat especially when it's really dry in the desert and um i didn't eat that many in the sierra maybe a couple but for the desert i will take those and i'll take the 200 minute ones because you can share them with people and um you know people really appreciated that uh tiger milk bars i prefer over candy bars or any other type of bar i do have a couple lara bars just because i got them free at, again at the marathon expo uh but the tiger milk bars i love and if my dog asks you know, accidentally gets into it uh the carob isn't going to kill him like chocolate would so i prefer to take those when i'm hiking with the dog uh what else we have a couple gels and little cliff hydration things oh again ginger ginger tea is fantastic and we get this at the chinese market i think you get 20 packs for five bucks love these things if you have hypo any type of hypothermia and you boil some water and put the ginger tea in there because it's got the sugar that's really going to help you from um hypothermia so anyway moving along i think that's kind of uh it the peanut butter of course that's a staple i'm not i'm probably just going to carry the big peter pan when i get to kenny meadows because i don't want to resupply at kearsarge and i'm going to need the fats to get up to a um, muir ranch because that's probably where i'm going to resupply next because kearsarge is a pain to resupply i think that's it for now so um again i'm going to try to eat as much natural food as i can when i get to um you know different um towns so i'm not going to um yeah i'm not going to uh you know, just eat this. I'm going to eat real food, as much real food and probably carry some oranges and bread and healthy things, avocado out of a resupply town at the beginning of the hike and munch it the first day or two. But um, these are some of the things. So the, you know, first you get them all out and then we'll break them down in another video. Once again, have a good time. Start resupplying, getting everything together now. This is Phoenix Genesis signing out.